Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Hello friends uh, and greetings from uh, Hungary. We arrived in Budapest yesterday and we stay here uh, for two days before we fly to Iceland. And now we're driving around Hungary a little bit. Well, not far, just close to Budapest, traveling. Beautiful weather. Well, still much colder than Jordan, but uh, it's nice, nice to be here. And uh, now we are visiting Visegrad Castle, and it's a place I wanted to show it to you. Uh, it's just parked at the car, and uh, the place is called Visegrad. Visegrad, or the higher town, the highest city. I think it's a uh, Slavic uh, place name. Visegrad means uh, higher uh, town, higher castle. See the castle there? It's on the hill overlooking the Danube River. Danube River. We are very close to Slovakia and Bure and Visegrad and with its surrounding is one of the most popular uh, places, touristic uh, regions in Hungary due to the historical background and its picturesque landscape. About uh, three to five million people visit the area yearly to take a pleasant vacation. A Visegrad forestry uh, park uh, maintains about 100 kilometers of hiking trails and bicycle trails through the forest here and they spent uh, millions of euros on fighting illegal littering and vandalism well we are going to see the castle and i also want to to take a flight here a drone flight is you know in jordan i was in jordan i just came from jordan yesterday arrived in hungary and there i didn't fly a drone because if police sees you flying drone they will take it away <laughs> So I don't want to lose it, that's why I didn't fly in Jordan. So, welcome to Visegrad, Hungary. Going up the stairs to the castle. Wonderful place, I love Hungary. Magyar, Orsak in Hungarian. Magyar means Hungarian, Orsak Republic or state. I used to study in Hungary a long time ago, 20 years ago, for about 11 months I spent in Budapest, so I am very well familiar with this country, and, but it has been so long time, still, it's very close to my heart, Hungary, I love this country, so let's go inside. It's much colder here than in Jordan. Here you have to wear the jacket. Hello, my friend. You have to pay for the tickets. We are exploring Visegrad. Here is an immense castle here on the top of a mountain. And the ticket costs 6 euro uh, for two people, 12 euros. Which is not cheap for Hungary. And uh, considering the salary here, average salary in Budapest is is uh, 800 euro for two people to enter here 12 euro it's uh, it's something for the locals uh, so, I mean photo 300 foreign some royal place you see history, founding of the state, part of the ancient Hungarian military force had visited Karpasan base even years prior to the founding of the state. Hungarian state was founded in 895 and as you know Hungarian speakers arrived here from the Ural Mountains in, in Russia, somewhere from there Ural Mountains area because we do have a people that I call it Mansi which still speak Hungarian language well it's very similar to Hungarian 
Monsi language, but it's very, very few speakers left. Uh, or Monsi speakers in the Ural Mountains. Uh, so they travel a great distance from the Ural Mountains to come here to Danube Valley. And as you can imagine, this area had been populated by Slavic people because, uh, or Germanic people, because, uh, they, well, it was a mixture, I think. Because this place name is uh, Slavic, Lysigrad, it means high castle in Slavic. Yeah. And the local Hungarian people, they don't look like Mansi, because Mansi, Mansi, they look, they have Chinese, Mongoloid look, but Hungarians, they look European, they have genes identical to the neighboring people, local people in Europe, so it must be a very small amount of uh, uh, Hungarian speakers arrived, which assimilated the local inhabitants, Slavic, Germanic, whatever, who live it here, you know. Now we go to inside of museum. Jesus Christ. Hungarian crown. This was the flag of Hungary. Uh, green, red and white in the middle. Very strong wind here, so we are on the top of a high mountain overlooking the Danube River. Danube River is flowing here, as you see. How the castle looked like. Well, it's very similar now, but uh, now we have mainly ruins, and I wonder why they don't restore it. Visegrad Castle, Hungary. The view of a Danube River from Visegrad Castle. See?
see here are three kings. In the middle you see a Hungarian king, there you see the Czech king, and here you see the Polish king. They met, they met here in Visegrad. This is uh, like a replica of historical events. And the Hungarian pe king paid the debt of the Czech king to the Polish king, because Czech king owned money to the Polish king. And the Hungarian king paid it in uh, golden forints to the Polish king. This is the king of Poland. And this way he he made truce between them because they were in enmity because of this debt. And here is the son of the Czech king. See? This is a political event from the Middle Ages. This is this debt that being paid. This is from the 14th century. Then you brother seen from Visegrad Castle in Hungary. Now we go to the top, to the very castle itself. They should restore it completely, in my opinion. I don't understand why they haven't done it yet. It's not a big building to restore. Why to keep it in ruins? Hello, my friend. Hello. Hello. It's also Hungary on the other side. But at some point, uh, Danube serves as a border between uh, Hungary and Slovakia, but here uh, we have Hungary all over from Visegrad. Visegrad. See many forests around here. 